Okay, let's talk about this. I'm joined by Mark Fallon. He's a former deputy commander and special agent in charge at the Department of Defense following the 9-11 attacks. Welcome. Good morning. Uh, good morning. You, you called Dick Cheney a liar, but um, perhaps it's easy to forget um, how afraid Americans were after 9-11. No, I don't forget it at all. Uh, I was at the time the uh, commander of the USS Cole Task Force investigating the attack on the, on the USS Cole, and we had agents on the ground in Yemen at the time of the 9-11 attacks. Uh, so, so, so believe me, uh, no one knows better about uh, al-Qaeda and the threat it poses than I do. So, so why do you call Dick Cheney a liar? Surely he knows what went on during that time. Well, I, I, I think I cited that the report uh, indicated that Dick Cheney was a liar. Uh, but, but, but based on the things I'm hearing out of Dick Cheney now, and based on the evidence that, that, that I know uh, occurred, and, and, and it was my job to investigate the al-Qaeda terrorist network uh, post 9-11. Uh, so what I have to say is that, that, that really uh, Dick Cheney may be full of crap in what he's saying now. Uh, those who have misled continue to mislead. And, and I've, looked at, I've looked over the report uh, from Senator Feinstein's uh, Senate Select Committee on Intelligence, uh, and, and, and frankly, it, it, it rings true to the facts as I know them uh, that occurred. Uh, somebody needs to be asking, what was the basis for going down a road to inflict uh, torture, to inflict duress on our adversaries, and the thought that that would actually result in the elicitation of accurate and reliable information? I can tell you. Uh, had I interrogated Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, if kissing him on both cheeks would have saved lives, I would have kissed him on both cheeks. The goal of an interrogation is to elicit accurate and liable information, not extract revenge against an adversary. I, I hear you, but Dick Cheney's not the only person saying that these kind of interrogations worked. Other CIA directors are too. Well, the, 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 I can just say what I know from my experience having access to, to the records. Uh, so the Criminal Investigation Task Force was the entity charged by President Bush to investigate anyone who is or was a member of Al-Qaeda terrorist network and to bring them to justice before military commissions. So, so that's the pro that, that they're the individuals who now have uh, the, the residue from the CIA interrogation program. Uh, so, so if there is evidence that they can bring forward, I certainly suggest the director of the CIA bring that evidence forward. Uh, these people are in custody now at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. There's an Office of Military Commissions, and there's investigators who are trying to bring justice to the terrorists who attacked us. And, 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 and I'm afraid that if, if there is evidence, they need to provide it to those people so that we can bring these people to justice. It, look at the controversy that's caused. If there's evidence, bring it to Senator Feinstein and correct the record. Call for a hearing, a public debate. Call for a private debate. Call for testimony under oath. But let's get to the bottom of this. Let's move forward and protect our nation. Torture makes us less safe. It's clear. Well, the, the CIA director is going to hold a news conference later this afternoon. Perhaps he'll bring forth the evidence that you seek. I, I don't know, but it is unusual for him to step out and talk about these things. Yeah, yeah I look forward to his press conference. I, I would like to hear, hear what he has to say. And, and if there is that evidence, I'd like to know why it wasn't provided earlier. If there is no evidence, should uh, Mr. Brennan resign? Oh, that, that's certainly not my call. I mean, he, he, wor he, works, uh, he works for the president. Should there be some punishment meted out for people who participated in interrogations that are, could be deemed torture? Well, well I, th I think you have to realize that there's probably 50 people within the CIA uh, who would be someone who might be implicated in, in these crimes. Uh, you know, over, well, I've worked at the CIA for years. They're, 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 they're a very good organization. They do things very well. Their core competency just wasn't interrogations. Now, now, the challenge we're facing now is, if you look at the United Nations Convention Against Torture, if you look at international law, if you look at the United States Code and Uniform Code of Military Justice, we violated laws. And so some way we're going to have to reconcile uh, what, our, what our policymakers' decisions uh, ha have caused, beca because it is making us less safe. It is jeopardizing our security. All right, Mark Fallon, thanks for your insight. I sure appreciate it. You're very welcome.